Knoxville Custom Computers. If you're looking for a great design and a professional build, Knoxville Custom Computers is the man for you. Doug Husky is a very friendly and nice guy. He can pretty much build anything that you ask for or request. He is well known for very clean and great performance builds. Come on over to Facebook and check out his link or you can get in touch with me and I'll give you his number. Uh, Custom Knoxville Computers. Very cool. Alright, so I have been working on this thing a long time. So, I finally got a platform that we're going to use. And then we're going to actually raise this thing up off the ground. Um, what I've been doing is, is I've been trying to figure out how to get everything to mount. Basically, the way I want is I want it water cooled. Is I would like to have the reservoir mount it like that. All right, and then with the reservoir mounted, uh, man, I got so many things to try to figure out. Like this, this is the uh, this is the filter that's going to collect any contaminants in the system, and then we have a flow meter that needs to, you know, maybe go here or it's going to go here. Uh, basically, I got some of this T-slotted aluminum. And what I've been doing is, is I've been using the thread. I've been putting threads in on the end of these to basically try to build a platform. So I've been kind of going back and forth on how everything should go. Let me put all this stuff. As you can see, I've been working on it. Um, so I built this. Let me put this over here so I don't drop it. So I built this thing right here, this this uh, this frame, and I was making little. Uh, see, this is a special pen that you can use to write on metal with. Um, so I've been making my marks on here where I'm going to drill and reinforce it. But I have these really nice um, wooden that it's going to be painted black, so you wouldn't see it anyway. All right, and we're just going to take it. And which way to go this way all right so it would be something like that and maybe like that okay these are all ideas that I'm going with and then what I'm thinking about doing is putting the radiator well, actually it will sit it will sit more like that right the radiator will sit in front of you because I think that would look cool for the radiator to sit in front of you and then you could take fans like two fans or something and put it on the front to kind of give you that look right and then the system will sit over there and then so you'll have it like that and then you'll have this right here alright that's where the reservoir will sit and then the pump I'm actually going to have to run two pumps this is one of the pumps that I got okay and then this is the other pump that I got so this will be probably behind somewhere you won't exactly see this basically this is just going to help pick up the pressure and help move the water through it because I would like to mount another radiator I have a 240 and a 120 that I thought it would be kind of cool you know to mount somewhere over here or off to the sides or you know something like that I'm not exactly sure It's it's been been crazy so what I'm thinking is is that the motor will actually sit here all right and what I'll do is is the radiate or the uh, the reservoir is going to sit here all right and then it's going to run out the bottom of the reservoir run out the bottom and then be pointed down and it's going to go into the motor and then see how the other ones pointed this way so the tube like here I got some of this tube right here okay so the tube you gotta remember the radiator is gonna sit a little higher so that tube will go into that fitting right there right from the motor and then it'll curve up and go here into the radiator and then I was gonna have like another hose going from the top running that way and so the radiator or the reservoir will be up here the motor the motors there 
So this tube will fit in through that and go to the reservoir and then it'll pump it into the radiator and then from the radiator it will pump back over into the loop and we're going to cool the CPU and I'm gonna try to cool the GPU as well so yeah you know a little bit out of problem but right now I'm just trying to figure out where everything is gonna go um, I definitely would like to incorporate this really cool flow meter somewhere on here I'm not exactly sure it's just that like I have all these parts and I have no idea where to put them at or how they're going to go um, although I got this like I said I got this slotted aluminum um, that's going to look real nice once we're done with it but we're going to you know add some uh, add some more stuff to it like that so that way it can hold or maybe I'll go like this with it and make a square so that way I would have a platform because if I can get it I would like to get this up here like off the ground so that way it would look cooler you know but then again where am I going to put the 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 uh, the water pump you know because I would like to hide that so you don't see it you know even if you can barely see it underneath there like that that's fine because the, there's going to be fans there and I'm even considering maybe flipping it so that way you don't see the nozzles so that way there's no there's no hose running but if I flip it alright like if I flip it then you'll have like this weird kink because then the nipple will be over here and it will have to flow that way so if I did that then I would turn it this way but see then it doesn't work because then how am I going to run it to that to that so I don't know I finally you know I, first problem was is I need to get a platform for this this is actually a vent hood off of a uh, you know for a kitchen and I painted it black and we're going to modify it and then I went ahead and built this little rack underneath there that's for this tray so it will actually sit up like that and then what we'll do is we'll put whoa don't drop that and then we'll put some LEDs up underneath here to give it a cool little look and keep going um, I don't know if adding another radiator is just going to complicate it I don't think it will really all I got to do is run a tube to a tube and maybe it'll fit but I have no idea where to put it at so um, I'm kind of running out of real estate fast so that's the whole idea of building this spot this you know framework behind it but yeah the the 32-bit monster is starting to come together um, I went ahead and got my parts list selected of everything that I need I am waiting for one of them to come back into stock so instead of um, see I'm ordering it from China so it's going to take a few days well actually it's going to take a few weeks but I don't want to order two items wait a couple of weeks for the next item to come in and then wait more weeks I would rather just wait for everything to be ready so I can order it at once and get it all at once so I can do it not get a couple of parts put it in there and then wait for a couple of more parts to show up so I can put it back in there you know what I mean so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna probably put an E8400 in there we're gonna fill up all the RAM spots get a GTX I don't know 750 probably a TI 4 gig water block for it and then that and then I'm even considering water cooling the RAM um, another problem that I ran into is that this is not proprietary meaning that if I go out and buy a water block for a socket 775 it will not fit this motherboard because this motherboard was designed specially for this style of bracket so my idea behind it was was just to reuse the bracket that it came with so it will go like that and then I have these little slots inside of it you see so it will just it will sit like this it like that all right okay and then you see the little slots inside the block will sit like this and then we will we'll make a piece of wood or plastic or something that'll fit in those slots and run across to hold the block down in place so that's how we're going to accomplish that task um, second motor is going to have to be wired and ran differently and put off to a different the other thing is that 
there's no fan headers anywhere on this motherboard so what I'm thinking about doing is either buying another one of these fan controllers which will only hold four fans so I may have to get two of these but then again um, I would have to get fans too but I'm thinking about maybe tearing apart the DIY carbon filter guys what do y'all think give me a comment if you think I should um, I'm not sure if I should or if I shouldn't but that's definitely something that we can use because I can definitely use these fan controllers because I'm gonna have to do something I mean you have a pump LED lights uh, one two three four five five or six fans that I got to get plugged in and you know most of these are PWM connectors and then the rest of them are like this they're Molex so it's going to be interesting on how I'm gonna wire this thing up not only that I was looking at this uh, the fittings that come standard on the radiators is a lot smaller than the standard 3 8 G1 4 thread that I'm using for everything. Um, even the block is that goofy small standard. So what I'm probably going to have to do is run adapters from big tube to little tube because this right here is a half inch and these are 3 8 and these are like 7 16 so I, I mean this this thing has just been one craziness after another but yeah I just thought I would give you guys a little update on what my plans were and what we're trying to achieve so okay so I have gone a little bit further than I was expecting to so what I did is I secured this frame as you can see it is very secured I secured it um, I tapped the aluminum and then drilled holes in it and then braced it to the side and then I braced it down here and braced it right there so that way there's no swing weight um, we're gonna have a 240 millimeter rad on the front and then a 120 millimeter rad hanging reservoir will be hanging and then check this out we're gonna have the line run down and go into these really cool distribution blocks okay so it goes in right there then I have a stopper on the other end and then it flows through that and then what I'm going to do is I have these right here these little um, aluminum heat sink they're like little blocks little water blocks anyway that's going to go on all these little chips as you can see I got one there and one there and we're going to have one here so it will go into that come out and go to that and then this loop will run down and probably go to the RAM maybe uh, I'm not sure though I still have to <laughs> install this is a uh, open close valve but what I'm gonna do is, is down here alright I'm gonna have the hose go down and then it's gonna hit to this Y adapter alright and then this Y adapter is gonna run down through here and it's going to go to this so that way I will have a drain port so that way I can drain it and then if when I want to fill it the top cap on top of this is exposed so I could fill it that way this ain't my first time building a water loop so I know how how I need to set this up right uh, but we're going to run the pump probably here in the middle and figure out a couple things I'm I'm almost considering going to black like a black rubber tube I think that would look really cool I was looking at quick disconnects and other things but when you start adding water blocks quick disconnects little types of fittings another reservoir fan headers and it just it gets too expensive I mean well over the hundred dollar range and that is not at all what I'm trying to do I'm trying to do this thing as cheaply and as cool as possible for you guys uh, we're probably going to put the flow meter somewhere up front so that way you can see it spinning and then we still have to figure out where to put this this is the filter that will filter any of the impurities that's in the the water uh, but yeah um, while we you know get some money together to get the parts ordered I figured I could work on the water loop and try to figure this out and stuff so what do you guys think about it you think it looks pretty cool so far I think it does too uh, we already put 
two 80 millimeter fans in the back that blow air this way and then you know then we got all these but that's another thing I have to wire up one two three because this is going to have a light in it and then four five six seven so that's seven things just right there and that's not including the other things that I plan on hooking to this system um, but what I did is I went ahead and JB welded this bar on there to give it that look. I kind of like that. I think that looks really cool. What do y'all think? Looks real cool. Man, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be awesome once it's once it's all done and and completed. But yeah, we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. So I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a uh, an update. I did do, you know, a, a couple hours ago, I filmed, um, you know, kind of how I wanted it to be and stuff, and now we went through with it. We've been working with the drill and trying to get all the different holes and different screws and everything fitted and go from there. But, yeah, guys, give me a thumbs up if y'all like it. Leave me a comment because, you know, I appreciate y'all. So, yeah, until the next vlog series. Whew. Oh, man. I just kind of like looking at it. Uh, but I really think I should get rid of the clear tubing. I think I ought to go with like a black tubing. I think that might look pretty cool. I don't know. Tell me, what do y'all think? Maybe y'all should leave a comment. Should I leave the clear tubing and just add dye to it? Or should I go with the black rubber tubing? I think that would look way better. I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Give me a comment. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, guys. 32-bit monster. Water-cooled. And now we just need the hardware to go with it, and we will be on our way. Booyah. Get a little cooler. Let me know. Please tell me. I am open to advice. It is a socket 775 motherboard, so if you have any parts or any water fittings or anything that you can help donate and make this possible, I'll give you a shout out. And thank you so much for your time. And you guys be cool, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, until I can figure out a little bit more detail, but right now i got to go out in the garage so I can cut a couple pieces of aluminum to fit, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.